This is Gerardo del Real with Resource Stock Digest. Joining me today is the VP of Exploration for Fission 3.0, Mr. Raymond Ashley Ray. It is great to have you on. How are you today, sir? Fantastic. Thank you, Gerardo. I'm doing really well. I, I I appreciate the uh, strong pronunciation of the the the, the mom given name there. Um, listen, let's get right to it, Ray. Congratulations! Um, you're on to a discovery that the market clearly loves. One of the reasons that I love speculating in the resource space is that you can have a stock go from five, six, seven cents um, to fifteen, twenty cents a dollar really quickly. Now, it takes a lot of luck and a lot of hard work. I know the team's been working hard on making a meaningful discovery with the Fission portfolio. It seems like you have yourself one. You just hit off-scale radioactivity on the PLN A1 conductor. I am not a geologist, but I've been in this space long enough to recognize when something has the potential to be pretty significant. And this looks and sounds and, and, and walks and talks just like that. Can you give us some context there, Ray? Uh, yeah, it's, uh, I have to agree with, first of all, everything you said, Gerardo. You, yeah. Um, look, the, you know, there's a, a few meters of greater than off scale with a handheld scent, and that'll be multi percent uranium. And we see visible pitch blends, so we know there's high grade uranium there. We don't have geochemical assays to confirm that, but we can see it. I think what's, to me, the most significant is about, you know, this discovery hole is really the fact that we've hit a 15-meter wide uh, structure, like a, a damage zone, a structural damage zone that has uh, mineralization based on the handheld scintillometer across that entire 15-meter width. And that, to me, is a significant why, because it's it's a structure with alteration, clay alteration and bleaching and radioactivity 15 meters wide. The width is, to me, what's important. When you drill a discovery hole, we don't know. It's a random hole into the thing. But if the first hole that's hit high grade on this mineralized, wide mineralized structure has come up with what it has, then, you know, the, it speaks really to the potential for this thing to grow. Um, it's a, pheno a really phenomenal discovery hole. Um, we don't know how big it is. That's what we have to set out to do. We'll get the assays rushed to the lab. Um, yes, you know, uh, yeah, we're incredibly excited about what we've managed to do, all of us together. Uh, you know, we what talk about the A1 conductor. We, in 2014... A hole was you, drilled. You, you took my next question, Ray. I love this. Continue, please. I was just going to ask you that. You, you know, it's so interesting to me that this hole, this discovery hole, is is a 730 meter step out back from a weekly mineralized hole from 2014. So please continue. Sorry for the interruption. I found it funny. No. Well, that's exactly right. Okay. So in 2014, we drilled a mineralized hole, weekly mineralized hole, and we assayed those rocks that came back with uranium. And again, it's a, a good looking structure with all the right signs for a mineralized system. So additional drilling was done in 2019 near that to, to follow it up. Um, and we didn't tag into high grade over there. Nonetheless, we know we, that, that the significance of that. So when the uranium market picked up and Dev was able to get, you know, get funding again, so we knew we needed to go back to that conductor. And what we did was define the untested 800 meters northwest of that previous discovery. Define it with ground geophysics to pin down the graphitic uh, and sulfitic uh, sh sheets, if you want, geological dipping sheets within that structure so that we have targets for our drilling. And what we've done is step 730 meters to the north of that intersection that had weak uranium, and that's where we've tagged into this high-grade mineralization in a you know 15 meter wide damage zone with radioactivity. So, you know, it speaks to the fact that that there's some strike length conceivably to this thing, 
and uh, that's what makes it most exciting to me. The intersection is in basement rocks. This intersection is below the unconformity, about 27 meters vertically below the unconformity, mm. which happen, which is also 200 and about 207 meters below the surface of the ground vertically. And that's the unconformity, the bottom of the sandstone is 180 meters below the surface. So it's shallow, relatively shallow, and it's in basement rocks. So yeah, it's a really exciting discovery. The team is, you know, we're overjoyed. And now we have to set about to define how big it stands to be, if we can uh, keep uh, stepping out and figuring out that it coalesces into a zone, figure out the attitude of this mineralization, and then set about the systematic work it will take to find out how big it is and if it can grow into a, a deposit. Um, you know, this is, yeah, it's a, we're so excited. It's such a great, you know, you, there's a lot of dedicated people that, you know, work very hard. This is the goal, and it's just a, very satisfying. Let's hope it keeps growing. We're all very hopeful. Where are you directing the drills next, Ray? Well, okay. Uh, we're, we've been obviously working very hard on that. Uh, our, our, our current idea is to stay on the same drill section line as the Discovery Hole PLN 22035. And uh, uh, we're currently thinking to go up dip towards the unconformity. Um, from the intersection of that structure. So up dip to see if it, if the mineralization continues up towards the unconformity, then likely we'll do the same thing to go down dip, down the dip of the structure about something like 15 meters down dip. And uh, yeah, based on that, we'll start stepping out sideways to see if we can extend the zone laterally. We have to work out in 3D the disposition of this mineralization that we've intersected. And that's the goal, was systematically and carefully doing that and considering the next uh, move after each hole. Exciting times. I have to mention that this is a 100% owned project by Fission 3.0. Ray, I'm looking forward to future conversations and chats as you get the geometry down on this thing. Congrats again, and thank you so much for that update. I know you're busy. Yeah. I appreciate you taking the call on such short yeah. notice. Thank you for your interest. Yeah, I really hope we can keep coming out with great results on this new thing. Thanks kindly, Geraldo. Looking forward to it. Thank you, sir. Bye, Geraldo. Hey everybody, Gerardo Del Real here. If you're enjoying the content that you just saw, you can let us know in three simple steps. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and please share across your network and on social media. Take care everybody.